And good evening, good morning, good day, wherever you are in the world, and thank you so much for joining another Home in Italy live stream. I'm David Benton, and really, really looking forward to tonight's subject, which is Meet the Home Buyers. It's going to be a great one this evening. Uh, you're going to meet Mark and Tracy, who bought their property last year, bought it last September, I think it was. And what a fantastic place that they've got. So we're going to hear their story. Uh, they're going to be telling us, uh, well, they're going to be showing us a little bit of some of the other properties uh, that they viewed while they were here. And then obviously showing the property that they decided on uh, in the end. So uh, please stick around to make sure you see the property that they actually chose, which we will show towards the uh, towards the end of the video. And then they're going to let us know how they've got on uh, and what's going to happen for their future as they start restorations and that kind of thing. So thank you so, so, so much. Uh, for joining us again, please let us know where you are in the world. Write in the chat box. Uh, let us know where you are before we start the subject. It's always a good way to always a good way to kick off. And also, I would like to thank everybody for the amazing support that people are giving us on the YouTube channel. It really has blown up into something uh, huge, which is absolutely fantastic. We've been out and about videoing properties, uh, so we can add them to the YouTube channel. We're going to carry on doing that um, for <laughs> until we get. Um, too busy with with uh, with viewings. Uh, so over the next sort of month, six weeks before the the main season starts, we're going to put as many property uh, videos on as possible. So please make sure you subscribe and press that little bell as well that you see. I always wondered what that bell was until it was actually my son that said, "Dad, you must make sure that you tell people to press the bell." So if you do subscribe, make sure you press the bell, whatever that means. And apparently, it notifies you when we do. Uh, a live. It also notifies you when we do other videos. We are going to be also doing town visits uh, and I'm going to be doing some stuff in the studio as well when we talk about taxes as well as obviously all of these, uh, these, these live streams that we'll do every Thursday. So please, please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for your support. If there's any subjects that you would like us to cover, then, uh, then let me know. Leave it in the comments below after this video, um, or you can send me an email at info at homeinitaly.com, whatever suits you. And also, if you're coming out to view properties or you're thinking about buying one remotely, then please let me know, and I'll let you know how we can uh, how we can help you on that, because it just seems to be something, it seems all the rage at the minute where uh, people are buying remotely, and these videos uh, are bringing that much more of that kind of kind of businesses uh, in, which is fantastic, and it's, uh, it's become quite a big part of our job. So we're completely geared up, uh, to look after that with power of attorneys and everything. So you've no need to worry whatsoever uh, if you do decide that you want to buy something remotely. Okay, just to let you know, before we start, um, next week, next Thursday at the same time, this is always a, a popular one uh, when we do this, and it's going to be with our foreign exchange uh, expert. So David from Currencies Direct is going to come in, and he's going to tell you how you can literally save thousands, and I mean thousands, if you, when you're changing your money from whether it's dollars to euro, whether it's pound to euros, whatever it is, you, I'm not going to say you shouldn't use banks, but come on next Thursday, listen to David, listen to what he's going to say and find out how you literally can save thousands by using the, 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 the free services um, of somebody like Currencies Direct. He's a great guy and, uh, and it should be a good one. That's next Thursday at the same time, 7 p.m., uh, European time. So make sure you join in for that. Obviously, I will uh, let you know when it comes closer to the time. I will send emails and that kind of thing. Uh, so make sure you put that in your diary for next week. And then obviously for February, what I plan on doing is putting a full calendar for February. Uh, we're going to have another Meet the Home Buyers with another couple that's going to come. They've actually done some restorations recently as well. Um, we're going to be talking to our resident tax accountant, Mr. Doom and Gloom, Gloom himself, uh, Jan Luigi Soresa. He's going to be joining us uh, next month to talk about tax implications if you did decide to move over uh, here to Italy and how things work. I don't know, even if you buy a home to, to rent out as a holiday home or something like that, he's going to be talking about tax implications. So that's going to be in February. So meet the home buyers. Uh, Mr. Doom and Gloom Gianluigi, uh, and lots of other good stuff as well. So I'll make sure that the calendar is put up live on Facebook, uh, or should I say on Facebook, and I will also send you an email with all those details uh, as well. Okay, so tonight's subject, this one is called Meet the Home Buyers. We do try and do this at least once a month, but I'm hoping now to do uh, this twice a month, where we do speak to home buyers that have been out here um, and, and chosen a property. Yes, they've been out with me, they've not been with other agents, Obviously, otherwise, why would I do that? Um, but tonight, let me get my chat box on because I can see a few things building uh, up there. Um, okay, so yeah, um, so if you um, if you join in, whenever you see the Meet the Home Buyers, it's always somebody that's either just bought, 
maybe they're buying i've got a couple that's that's bought and still not even seen it yet i'm hoping to get them on at some point uh, in february and there's somebody else that is buying without seeing and uh, we're hope, hoping to get those in march just as they have they seen as they have seen their property i'll get my words out shortly um they'll be coming in just to explain how it all went and their feelings and all that sort of stuff so meet the home, home buyers is always a great one and remember these videos if you can't join us live this is going well tonight isn't it i'm just uh, the hiccups are going to start so i guarantee it if you can't join us live then make sure that you uh you go onto the channel go onto youtube and click under the live section and you will see last week obviously you'll see this week and every other one that we do okay guys so thank you so much for saying where you are let's uh let's get things let me just get this uh, all a new layout to us this on a I need to get rid of where it says meet the home buyers. How do I do that, Tony? Here it is. Let's do that. Okay. So, hello, Dave and Tony. Cynthia here. Good to see you, Cynthia and Tony. If, so, if you've got any questions for Mark and Tracy while they're on, please feel free to ask them. I will try and get around as many questions as possible. Okay. So, let's bring them on now. I can see them in my little video camera here. I just need to work out how I actually get them on. Hopefully, all this is going to work. And this is Mark and Tracy. <laughs> Hello. <Good evening. laughs> How are you doing? How are you? Right? Yeah, very good, thank you. Good, good, good. Very good. Okay, so we've got a bit of a story to tell people tonight about your little adventure. So uh, let's start yeah. right, right from the beginning. Why, uh, why Italy? Why the uh, the love affair of Italy? Well, um, why Italy? We. We didn't actually know it was going to be Italy. We had we our honeymoon was Italy, wasn't it? Mm. Loved it, and um, we were looking, and that was like a Malfi, that kind of area, the west coast. The west coast, yeah. um, and we were looking for a little bar pole, and Mark just decided, started looking on the internet, looking things up like he does for months. They said, "I think we need to try Brizzo." Hadn't heard of it at all ever. No. Um, and then the more we looked into it, we just thought, yeah, let's go over and have a look. And it was just that one trip. <laughs> but I think it was the mountain that did it for us, actually, in the end. But, yeah. And, and um, the wine, definitely yeah. the wine and stuff like that. Um, so <laughs> the, did, you view, did you view properties in, uh, in other areas as well then? Or, did, or was it the first time you viewed properties was it in Abruzzo? What, what, how, how did that, what happened on that side? Or did you go just on holidays and things like that in other areas? Yeah, just holidays in other areas, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, in, yeah. in Italy, we had previously looked at uh, houses in France, but France yeah. wasn't for us. Yeah. Um, and then during COVID and lockdown and stuff, I did a lot of research and kept on coming back to Abruzzo uh, on different levels mm -hmm. and decided to come over and explore. Excellent stuff. So during COVID, did this for so many people. So were you one of these people that was just constantly sat on the computer just looking at everything to do with Abruzzo? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just Started drooling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. And I was just doing a bit of research on things from affordability, you know, just across the board, generally living there, holidaying there. What, it is, what does it look like? What does it look like for us? How we'd fit in there, just seeing how many boxes it would tick, basically. Kept on coming back to a brook, so kept on yeah. coming back. So when you say it kept on coming back, was that just sort of different? So when you're doing all this research, it just kept popping up things to do with a brook and, and all that kind of thing then. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we looked at Tuscany. Uh, we looked down south, further down south. Um, well, we actually holidayed in Tuscany, uh, took all the children over there as well. But yeah. For us, we like the idea of the mountains and the sea, and then being in close proximity. For us, we do a lot. Uh, we like to do a lot of walking in the Lake District in the UK. So for us, that was a big check, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, a big box to check. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just <coughs> really that 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 was where it all fell into place for us. And then coming over to see it, it was a, a whole blank canvas for us in terms of thought and yeah. what we were going to see and do, and just see where we decided what what, what we would like over there. Mm yeah so i know when you got in touch with me obviously like everybody else does, when you get in touch and, and and sort of give me the spec and that kind of thing um would you say i mean i know we're going to go through some of the properties we saw and i know that you were quite sort of open with what you wanted to look at the rest of it would you say that you yeah. got the house that you expected that you would that you would buy that was in your mind 
No, definitely no. Definitely no. 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 What completely no. different to, to to the to the to what was in your head? Well, yeah, we're very would have looked for something country out in the country. Um, we would have thought never in a town, certainly not in the centre of a town, although it's a village where we bought in the end. But when we found this no, property, yeah. we knew. Yeah, yeah, the type of house yeah. is completely... Yeah. If you ask me to envisage it, no, yeah. absolutely was totally different to what I actually envisaged it being yeah. at the end. And I think yeah. the properties, I think, I know you're going to show a few, but the difference between my number one and number two is completely quite, different. Yeah, yeah. But you know they were both contenders yeah 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 because yeah, it did come quite tight didn't it and i mean obviously we'll show people uh what you looked at and show people which properties you're talking about it did come quite tight between two um uh, especially for you tracy i would say you seem to be really torn uh between between two houses so i mean the, the thing is that what i always say to people is when people when people are coming out that obviously to stay open-minded luckily you guys did because as you say it happens so often where you have an idea of your dream Italian property and then people end up with something completely, completely different. It happens, it happens more often than it doesn't. So, uh, so it was great that you guys stayed open minded. Yeah. So I remember, if I remember rightly, um, budget wise, you didn't really give me, you were one of those sort of awkward type clients that doesn't give me a budget. Uh, <laughs> I can talk like that now because I'm friends. So, uh, <laughs> um, but, I mean, it was it was quite difficult because your plan was well. You didn't really know, did you? It, it was sort of it, it was either we're going for this big style, or we we may just invest. I mean, what what was your idea behind it? Because it, you did seem to have two completely different ideas, uh, and hoping that would mm. something would slot. I mean, when you, when you say that yeah. you were looking possibly to go in, sort of lock stock and barrel what did you mean by that did we looking for a forever home or yeah yeah so so uh, we, we came with a completely open mind and we didn't know whether we were going to throw a couple of hundred thousand pound into it or ten thousand pound we wanted to stay in the middle and just literally weigh up the checks and balances uh keep mm -hmm. we, we didn't know whether we'd fall in love with anywhere there but we didn't know what we would take to actually achieve something there and what that would look like mm -hmm. so we were completely literally just going over on a mission to be and staying totally totally blank mm -hmm. of everything didn't we really and and, it, and if we fell in love with it and we had to throw all at it um you know whatever that looked like uh, go to a couple of hundred thousand or put a mortgage on it we, we would be prepared to do that if 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 we found the right right uh, property but we like i say we kept an open mind didn't we mm -hmm. all the way through yeah. until we yeah. found the two properties <laughs> and then everything it just fell into place yeah. Yeah. i yeah. think another thing for us was we were thinking do we need something big enough for all the children with their other halves eventually with children or do we think of a little bulk hole for us where they could come one at a time <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be better. um so yeah, there was there was that as well. Do you go big or do you go small or yeah, look yeah. what you could do to a small property? Yeah, yeah and, and you helped us on that. You helped yeah. us on that because we were looking at it from a different angle. Because yeah. we've got five children and with their partners, that's quite a yeah. a bit of a herd to come over on holiday. So yeah. we were yeah. looking to whether we were going to buy something substantial to accommodate yeah. them. Yeah, uh, but uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 yeah let's hope let's hope your kids are not watching this <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, play <laughs> I'll make sure i'll send them a copy so uh so yeah i mean but i think it is true because i mean you can i remember having that conversation with you and again it's a conversation i have, I have with lots of people that you you sometimes do have to be selfish because i don't know why we think when we buy a when we buy a holiday home and, and we needed it well we have made a mistake when we bought this place in terms of making it bigger to try and fit everybody in i don't know why we think yeah. like that. So if we're buying a house sort of in the uk you know we don't think in or in a home country should i say we don't think that way but when we're buying a holiday home lots of people will say no no bigger the better let's get i've got i've got five kids as you say then potentially five partners and then when grandkids start coming out you know you're going to be having a, a house that can sort of sleep 20 25 people 
Um, yeah. And, and it, it, it's not really like the reality of it all is, is not really like that, is it? No, 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 no. So, no. I think the main so, point is choice. Yeah. So you said that obviously it was important, mountains and the coastline. Abruzzo is perfect for that. Um, you based yourself uh, in, you actually based yourself in the town where I am, didn't you? You based yourself in Palombar in a bed and breakfast there. Yeah, 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 fabulous so, lady. Um, yeah, so you're in the centre of a little village. I mean, how did it feel when you first, I mean, because Palombaro, for somebody that's never been here and you've never been to Abruzzo and you were coming to see houses, obviously you made contact with me and everything else. How did you feel when you when you first got to the village in terms of, or was it like, oh my God, this is so not what I want or, oh, this is different? What, what was, your, what was your, your reaction? It was very, it was, so we, we landed, yeah, night time, we did, we, we arrived at yeah. night time and um, it was quiet, uh, it was, it was dark, wasn't it, yeah, when we, when it we landed? Yeah, it was just dark, so it's like, ooh. Yeah, we didn't have a sort of clue where we were in terms of when we drove into the village, didn't even know where our bed and breakfast was going to be. And then all of a sudden someone appeared from a little bar, which we didn't recognise as a bar initially, <laughs> and invited us in for a drink. <laughs> that seems so to happen to you quite a lot. <laughs> we had a couple of glasses of wine and then realised the bed and breakfast was above our heads where yeah. we were staying. So we'd actually found it. So, yeah. but um, yeah, the, the, all of the people then started to talk yeah. to us, even though we couldn't talk to them. We didn't yeah. understand the language yet. But uh, it was very, it was quite actually, I did think when we got there, oh gosh, this is very, very quiet. Yes. But you know, you go to was... bed, you wake up in the morning, totally the sun's place. out, you see the views, completely changed. Completely different yeah. place, yeah. 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 So would you say it put you off? Or I mean, I always find that when people first fly, it doesn't matter whether they're coming from the UK, whether they're coming from the US, obviously, even when you go on holiday, the first night is always a bit tiring and everything. I mean, do, would you say you were slightly put off or, or how, when you woke up in the morning, how did you feel so when you saw the scenery and everything else? No. No, just a uh, bit, you know, just, it was quiet, but yeah. we always know if we arrive at a destination and it's, it's late, like that. Yeah. it possibly could be like that. Woke up the next morning, ready for a, a incredible day. view yeah. oh just yeah. it was it was fabulous yeah really really good yeah, yeah no brilliant okay. no anyway. not at all no. <laughs> okay so we're going to talk through some of the properties obviously not all the properties uh, i think we're there a couple of days so we'll talk we're going to save the one that you've got uh to the end so i'm going to test your memory on some of these now we're going to do a little bit of stream uh, screen sharing uh let me just go full screen on this one so the first day uh, i obviously picked you up from from uh, your bnb because you were staying in the local town and we headed off towards uh, yeah. lake bomber to a town called colody mezzo where we uh, where we saw this property i don't know if you if you can remember it wasn't that long ago but uh, um what can you remember this property and what do you think about this place yeah it was uh it was on several levels that and uh, had a fantastic view which is that view out out of the back but it was just it wasn't open enough for us at that, at, on the out, out, yeah. outdoors was it no it was quite for us on top of each other wasn't yeah it, yeah well. the actual property was lovely yeah. really really nice um, i love that kitchen you could do a lot with that yeah. as well it's fantastic property yeah. but the outside space just didn't just wasn't quite right for us yeah. just not quite right yeah, because it's quite a strip because, I mean, the terrace is just up. This one is actually uh, still for sale, just to let, let people know. This one is on at €59,000. It's a four-bed four bed, uh, property and uh, with a terrace at the back. But it is, I mean, Colli di Mezzo is a, is a, it's a beautiful town. It's a very traditional town. But as you say, when you're in, sometimes when you're in these towns and villages, the view is fantastic. But as you can see from this picture, you are amongst the houses. Yeah. But that, that is part of the yeah. charm as well of these, these types of villages, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really is. Yeah, but a really nice property. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, in fact, you could move straight into that. You could move you straight into to. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. I did love so, it. It was just that place for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, obviously, from uh, from that property, we moved on to this one. Now, Mark, I'm just going to bring bring us all back uh, on a sec. Let me just get. Uh, so during COVID, you said that you were absolutely obsessed. I hope I picked the right property. I'm sure it's this one. You recognise it, Mark? Yeah. So tell us what was yeah. happening during COVID, because you 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 said to me that this. I mean, this was the number one to see, wasn't it? And I, I don't think I showed it to you the third one in. What was it about this one that you just couldn't get out of your mind? Yeah. 
so you did i found you did a lovely video of this and you walked through from the beginning uh the actual entrance is round the back and you yeah. walked straight up through i love the vaulted ceilings in there uh love the bedroom what uh i think there was some revealed stone in the yes. bedroom from what i could remember and then when you got to the top it, it sort of went up and up again that's like it's a balcony view, view. Yeah. yeah and then it went up again to uh, a lovely terrace so it's very important that it, my, my own personal gender as, but as well as tracy's was to get a fantastic open space um yeah. and the, and the view from this property is incredible absolutely incredible very private uh just 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 really really nice really nice and uh yeah. i stared at those pictures <laughs> <laughs> for probably two years or for the whole of the lockdown that's the view there that yeah. took, that absolutely got me yeah uh, so, I, mean, I mean that's looking that's looking over the top of palomaro heading uh heading out you in fact you the bar is pretty much in the middle of that picture you were staying around about there weren't you so so I mean, how did you feel one once, once you actually saw the property then obviously you'd spent this is a bit like me when we were looking for our property i, I was obsessed by um a particular property and then in the end when i got there it wasn't it wasn't what i thought i mean how did was that was that similar similar for you with that one yeah so i think i played the photo so many times uh that i imagined it to be one way and it wasn't it was just slightly different so and it just didn't just didn't fit our criteria yeah. but it was just i was i was a bamboozled by it really when we looked through it because i didn't expect it to be the way it was so it was just slightly different to what we would have preferred which was a yeah. shame because again mm. it was a lovely property it was a lovely yeah. property i think that's I the think thing again uh, as well yeah 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 i think uh i mean it's, it's a good point you and, and i did the it's not an error but lots of people will sort of say no i, I want to see that property and just that town you know, I want to just see this town, this town, just these properties, or they'll send me a message and say, I want to see this place, this place, this place, and this place. And if you want to show me any more, I want to see it because I don't waste, I don't want to waste any time. I can understand all that because obviously you want to try and make the most of your time. But what would you say to people yeah. like that rather than me constantly saying, what would you say if somebody, you know, if somebody was speaking to you now and saying, right, we're thinking about going, I'm going to see these, nothing else. What, what would your advice to them be? no i wouldn't oh, i would say do i exactly what you did for us is a very very good way of doing it because you yeah. showed us one end up, up left right up and down of, of all what yeah. you possibly could buy um the type of areas the type of houses uh different completely different in different ways and they're yeah. so different aren't they they really I think are if you just went with one house in mind one area then you like us if we just said we want to see the one Mark wanted to see in Palambara. That's it, nothing else. We would have been let, felt we let down. Probably right, would have it? felt a bit let down, not let down, but, but yeah, it would yeah, have been right. Yeah. And we would never have found our house if we yeah, hadn't yeah. been to all of yeah. the. Yeah. Uh, be open minded, yeah. uh, be open yeah. to seeing uh, a variety of different different yeah. properties. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, it is so, it is so, so important. Can't, can't stress that enough to people. And at the end of the day, you know, for me, I like taking people around, so it's no big deal. So if you've got the time, you may as well use it, use it right. And it's, it's the same with areas as well, isn't it? Because if you if you fix yourself on, there's lots of people that'll say, I, no, this is, I just want to be here. And they've never even been there before, you know, and then if you get there and you're disappointed or, or, or see yeah. another town that you think, well, actually, that's fantastic. It's too late once you're there, isn't it? And you, you've, you've made all your arrangements. So, uh, so no, good, yeah. good on you for, for, for keeping it sort of open-minded because that that did help so moving on to let's see yeah. af after this i mean obviously this property again was faro san marti uh, sorry palombaro after this property we showed you the property that you ended up buying so i'm not going to show that uh, now uh because i want to to save that one we went to day two we went to a different area and we went around the sulmona area um i don't know if you can remember this little one tucked away in petarano Sul Sul yeah. Gizzo. Awesome. um so i mean this one when it comes yeah. to views had an amazing view as well didn't it can, yeah yeah do you remember that can, can you remember yeah. can you remember Absolutely. this one sorry trace yeah. i'll let you that, i'll let you uh, i'll let you describe it oh sorry no you describe it <laughs> no 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 it's fine I was just no, gonna that room there the kitchen was the brightest room and with the most amazing views and if all the other rooms had been as bright that probably would have been a contender but it would have yeah yeah, yeah. that isn't yeah 
that I, that, I just, that picture actually does it no justice yeah. that is a stunning little room it really is i remember standing out on the balcony the small balcony wasn't it looking out there and just thinking this is it but there were other areas of the house that were quite dark for me yeah yeah i couldn't yeah. well it was it was yeah. mainly that i couldn't get down the stairs oh yeah and Mark's too uh, <laughs> it was, it was just it yeah. <laughs> I'd had too much pasta that day. <laughs> I'm, I'm but laughing. It, it was a beautiful. I, I, was a beautiful I, I, I'm laughing at you, but I probably couldn't get down myself. So uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you, you yes, are right little. because I mean the, the kitchen. I thought the lounge area when you, this one sold now, by the way, but this one was on for thirty nine thousand. This was a two bed property. But as you say, the kitchen was a great room. This lounge was okay, but then the bedrooms were yeah, a little bit dark. Yeah, you went downstairs to them from what I can remember. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So, yeah. but what and, did and you I mean, could just about get in there. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, this was in the um, uh, more towards the Sulmona area. So, we'd gone round the other side of the mountain. Um, and then I'm going to show you the next property that, uh, that was in Vittorito that, um, um, that we went to as well. Obviously, completely different area, but still equally stunning, aren't they? What, what did you think of the areas around that side when, when we went on to it today, too? Can you hear me okay? Was it, this was round by Sulmona that way? Yes. Yeah, you yes. just cut out there. Um, just, just, was it the Sol Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we really liked the area, didn't we? Yeah, it's funny. I. I remember that side being <clears throat> more historical, if I'm right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, and the buildings and the towns, the squares were very pretty. I actually preferred the other side of the mountain. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's strange. in the yeah. 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 It's quite strange because the, the, the two some people prefer one side of the mountain, some people prefer the other side of the mountain. It all but I think the big thing for you guys by then is you'd already seen You'd already seen the one, hadn't you? You'd already seen the property that, that you really love. And I think that sort of, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I knew even taking you around the other side, I wanted to take you around for you to see it. But I think once, when yeah. somebody has the reaction that, that you guys did, I don't know, it's almost like wasting time because uh, I think you knew at that point. <laughs> <laughs> also, but, but, that, but again, still, yeah, but still, still again, be open minded because we hadn't seen the range of what you were going to show to us. So we still, mm. and then you wobbled us with the, the, the was yeah, because it, it was over that side the, that we had this yeah, number yeah. two came in and it was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. But then yeah, we, we went back to number before we made our decision. But mm. um, yeah. Yeah. So, so we went on to, to Vittorito. I'm going to, uh, let me just double click on these and we saw this place i'll describe this place i'm not sure how much you can remember of this and it has quite uh, slightly changed because this is the whole palazzo that uh, is now for sale before you uh, were looking at the middle floor uh, and and the bottom floor and i'm just going to quickly go through some of the pictures and we can have a little chat about this one um so it's a beautiful historic palazzo that, that's been completely completely restored um the middle floor and bottom floor are on for 129 and it also has uh, uh an independent uh, uh building if you like at the back that could be converted into into uh rooms this was on the ground floor a ground floor kitchen and what could be a bedroom and a bathroom with access to the garden uh, at the back it's all vaulted ceilings um and then as you go this was the bathroom downstairs then as you go up the stairs, we had, uh, that's not you, don't know who that is in the middle, but there you go. Uh, that, we've got uh, a kitchen area, a kitchen dining area. Again, some really nice features. You can't see the vaulted ceilings on here, but uh, every single room had had vaulted ceilings. The bedroom was really nice on this uh, this floor as well, and another, another bedroom here. And then for 199, the whole building is for sale, so also the apartment uh, on the top floor. Oh. Let's not let me just uh, that happened earlier. I don't know why that happens. Apologies. Uh, so this was the extra building that you get at the back uh, of the property. And then at that point, when you saw it, you got half of this garden <coughs> with the uh, with the people up, upstairs, basically. Um, is that what put you off this property? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't want a huge garden, did we? No. As much. And at the time, I think it was just the middle floor. 
Was yes, the middle floor and, mm. the, and the bottom. There was a couple yeah. of rooms at the bottom as well. Um, how did you feel about Vittorito? Because this was obviously the town where you found nearly your your favourite, your, your second that was a, a close contender. What did you think about this uh, this uh, particular little town? Can you remember it? Yeah, I can remember it. I, I loved it, actually. Stunning town. Really, really, really lovely pretty. town. Yeah. yeah. L lovely people. Yeah, well, it was just kind of... In the, that, yeah. They were like tiny little roads down, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Lovely little square there. Yeah. It was really lovely, really lovely, really lovely place, really nice. And then when we walked up to the other property, which I was, which I was showing, <laughs> and, and yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, still looking at your face now, Tracy, it's almost like I'm, I know you don't regret it because you absolutely <laughs> love the place you've got, don't you? But oh, you no, still yeah. for this yeah. next. So actually, I was actually at this next property. So this was this was Tracy's. Near, this is a, a shot of Vittorito, the old town. This was. The, the property that nearly did it for you, isn't it? This uh, this one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what was it about really, this really one nice. then? What what was it about this one that really because considering the one that you bought is so the views are so open and so unbelievable. What was it about this one that really got you? For me, definitely the features inside, mm. it, and it just there wasn't. There were only a couple of areas that were done, but they felt so. I just felt yeah, it just had this lovely feeling. Yeah. I know it just looks mm. nothing, but there was something about it. Yeah, yeah when you went it. inside, there was a lot. Yeah, just a fabulous character yeah. to to the house. That would have been typical of what we were probably yeah, going to that, end up with that's probably in our minds that was we what we would have for. been been yeah had we not seen the other house oh i love yeah. it but the, the door the front door <laughs> where you go in just the middle room, I'm off the fabulous because i mean fabulous. this yeah. Really, really this nice photograph time. here i mean as you say it looks nothing and it really i mean i've been here today to do a video of this property um but i mean this is just the entrance hall isn't it can, yeah. you, can you remember it's yeah. um yeah some yeah. of the features yeah, that's in a there. Stunning, it's a really stunning and really, I think the other thing really, that slightly really nice, that the other thing that slightly threw me, I mean, I know that there was tons of features, but some of the rooms were dark. And I don't know if you remember, there was a hidden room at the back that the the owners only found yeah. afterwards. It was like in a huge cave. Um and, yeah. and so part of that was dark, but it didn't seem to bother you on, on, on this one, Trey. Is it because the rooms were big? Yeah, and just um just quirky. I don't know, there was something about that. It was lovely. Yeah. See, look at that. That's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you're selling it. You're selling it to yourself again. So. Uh, I know. Uh, we'll <laughs> and there's a oh, the view. The lovely. view out of that window is that lovely little square there. There's yes. a lovely little bar and a little restaurant around the corner. It yeah. really, and really nice buzz yeah. to the place. It wasn't particularly busy. It was just just nice, nice feel to that. That area yeah. really and it, was a lovely. And in this area, you've got really good access to Sulmon. You've got good access to the motorways. You've got good access to train stations. The, the good thing about this side of the, uh, that side of the mountains is the access to public transport and access to Rome, yeah. which is uh, which is great as well. But Tracy, I think the big thing on this property that seemed to get you as well, um, and before, well, this room, but before we talk about it, I want to tell people a little bit about what you guys do to, because this room seemed to sort of really um really make you start thinking how amazing this place could be you just tell everybody the, the jobs that, that that you do and it might it, that might answer might, might tell people why all of a sudden your creative style was going so so what is it that you actually do in the uk so um we've got a home staging business so um we set the set the scene as such and to help homeowners sell their properties um empty homes so we go in there with the vision mm, dress them for dress the them for the sale so yeah so mm. my mind was going Ooh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was so fun. much you could do with that property although there's work mm. being done to it we yeah. were just our heads were just popping with ideas of what could be mm. done there for, for a fabulous house yeah. it really was yeah really good and it seemed to be when i mean this room again it doesn't give justice to what's down here does it this is where there no. used to be a, 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 an oil mill it's actually probably twice the size of the picture i'm i'm showing here but what what could you imagine doing in this kind of room what were you thinking 
Well, I think we had about fun. 10 different ideas in yeah. under a minute of what it could be. And yeah. we kept on going out of one room, coming back into it. And mm. we started to bounce off the walls almost with ideas. But yeah. there's so much you could do with that. In, in look at it in so many different ways. It's got so much character up on the roof, on the sides, really, really. Oh, the roof, the roof didn't. It didn't have any outdoor space, though, did it? If I remember. Yeah, it yeah. didn't. But but we we said potentially. We spoke to the council. Potentially, yeah. the, a roof terrace could have been put on there, couldn't it? So this yeah. one, yeah. this one actually um, um, almost sold and then came back on the market. I've actually been there today to do a to do a video. So I will be posting this. For everybody to see on on youtube because it is worth a video and this one is just twenty nine thousand euros which oh, which the... so worth it. I'm wow, gonna, wow i wow. might come back <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna send you the video i'm gonna get you to buy this place sorry mark apologies but i'm, I'm gonna get tracy to buy this place but I, can, I can i can sense the second sale coming <laughs> and if we don't buy it whoever buys it please can you invite us around yeah. for dinner because we'd love yeah. to come and see this house again we really well, you, you, can go and, you, <laughs> you can go and dress the house uh but yeah. also that room at the back not this one i haven't actually got a picture of the the uh, the scary room i like to call it it was just a huge cavern wasn't it at the back of the house i mean yeah. the, the, the yeah. things that could, could be done is, is incredible okay so we better stop because people people are probably thinking well why didn't you just buy that one so uh, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't buy that one so let's now show people when everything changed and this was i'm not going to show the house first i'm going to show when you went on to the uh when you went on to the onto the roof terrace basically and i think pretty much everything changed at this point didn't it yeah 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 <clears throat> that's yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah tell people yeah, where right. where you stood tell people where you stood and, and and what it was that you just that that, that just got you with this place well, from, i think that picture is literally taken from the roof isn't it the roof terrace yeah. Yeah, the top yeah. we were there two weeks over christmas and i think we stood out there every day every day, day every day <laughs> and just but, yeah. but when we first walked so out, great. we got to to to, to the building. <clears throat> uh, that view you can get from several different pl pl uh, places within the house. But uh, we we just fell in love with the mountains, the village, uh, everything yeah. there. Just just it's in a. It, when when I looked at this on a, your website, uh, I did spot it, and and I would have again, I would not have put us in that house. I would not have put us in that house. Mm. So it wasn't until we got there that we got the feeling yeah and it was there it came from the heart we really yeah. felt at home in that yeah. house yeah immediately immediately and again that's it's a massive those... thing i mean to, to think that if you would have been one of these people that says and it happens all the time send me the houses that you're going to show me i want to see so if i would have sent you that you would have said no then is that what you're saying yeah if, I would have yeah, sent... if we wouldn't have been open-minded we, we yeah. would have said no that's not really our cup of tea yeah. it's not our type of house um, we wouldn't it wouldn't have been the necessary area, just the type of house and and the and the, the pictures. You, it wasn't until we walked into it that we felt what we felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the property, yeah. you know, the property. To be fair, it is. It's going to be fantastic once you've done all the work as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it. As you say, the views almost from 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 every window. So what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll let you as we do the walkthrough. Obviously, this is when. You bought the property, and I know you don't mind me saying uh, because I've already asked you if if I if I can say it. Um, but this particular property um, was on at uh, twenty nine thousand, the same as the one the one in Vittorito, and and you were genuinely torn between the two, wasn't it? But but this one obviously stole your heart in in the end. Um, yep. So I'm going to show the inside. Obviously, you're going to have lots of work done on it. But if you want to just sort of tell, give people the walk around. Uh, I think all the photographs are pretty much in order, so I'll let you. I'll let you take over, and you can explain a little bit about what you want to do as well. So let me get you to. So this is the entrance. I'll let you let you take over. Yeah, you want to. You want to? So th so this is the entrance, the the hallway when you enter in. So the the on the right hand side where the the wood is, we're taking all of that off, and we're going to reveal all the stone there. Yeah. that's all going to come off we've actually since painted all of that white uh the actual so no, woodwork yeah. in there just just yeah. as a temporary fix but that's all coming off to reveal all the stone on the right hand side yeah. um, we initially stepped in and thought we would replace that floor but we now we fell in love with that floor once that's polished up it's a fabulous looking yeah. floor so as you turn left into the kitchen uh we're going to knock where the actual kitchen is there on the right of the picture we're going to knock that wall through and we're going to create a kitchen diner, aren't we? Uh, 
through the lounge living area. A lounge living, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're gonna. So that's so the. That other, will be one room. That will all be one yeah. room. That room and the kitchen will all be one room. Yeah. So that's all gone now. Uh, all of that furniture, everything's gone yeah. from the. And then there's going to be, uh, so yeah, there's, so going to be uh, there's going to be lots of stone, isn't there? Like you said, you're going to reveal some stone in here as well. I understand, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stone. yeah we're going to reveal yeah. all the stone in different ways there. Yeah. yeah. So that's, heading upstairs. Uh, that's what. Yeah, upstairs. Yeah, that's that bedroom that one. Bedroom. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the the floor in oh, it's phenomenal. That floor. Um, everybody who sees it falls in love with it. Yeah, uh, absolutely fabulous that floor is, and we won't um, be changing that. But no, that won't be coming out. No, and then when you Francis, open those double Francis doors, Francis is just saying, "I love that house. I imagined it with a rooftop garden." You can obviously uh, remember uh, the property yeah. when we had that out there. But yeah, th sorry, that floor, and as you say, I mean, it is it is incredible floor, is, isn't that? And uh, it, it yeah. costs it's a really fortune nice. to recreate that. So it does. the yeah, let me just get to the the next bedroom. Yeah, bedroom number two, which has got two, it's got the double doors which open onto the balcony. And on the left hand side, through the window, there is the old church. And yeah. it yes. literally looks straight out of fantastic view on both sides of that, yeah. that room. Uh, again, a lovely floor, very Italian. Um, and we were sort of humming and ahhing about it, but yeah. we've again fallen in love with that floor and what we're going to do with it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're possibly going to reveal some stone in here as well, are we? Yeah. Yeah, possibly. The, the two bedrooms, actually, we've kind of done a little bit too oh. now and then you know when you get comfy in yeah. them and you think oh i don't want to rip anything apart now but i'm guessing we'll get to <laughs> but that's there. the view we wake up in yeah. the morning and we that was new year's day i opened the doors and we looked and that was our view new year's day wasn't yeah. it yeah. sorry i'll yeah. just go back i'll just go back to that one yeah so that was new year's day was that's it yeah New Year's Day, I opened it to that view. It yeah. was absolutely fabulous. It was really, we, we, we spent two weeks, the best part of yeah. two weeks over there just after Christmas, and it was like that every day. Really, yeah. really fabulous. Yeah, it was excellent weather, wasn't it? Yeah, this time that you came out. So, well, yeah. it's great weather most times, but it was surprisingly warm, wasn't it? So, again, these are these yeah. are, are, are views. I mean, the village, we should tell people, is called Taranta Pelina, which is, it is a small village, isn't it? But you're close to Lama di Pelina, that's a, a great town yeah. you, you you took us to a bar there and uh just before our, yeah. our liquid liquid and lots of food lunch uh, <laughs> and then looking straight ahead you've obviously got the villages such as palena and then you're heading towards uh Rocarasso, which is the number one ski resort but you're also close to the uh you're not a million miles from the coast either you can get to the coast easily within an hour can't you from from there Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, really, yeah, really yeah. perfect yeah. location. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's it is, yeah. and uh, and uh, the, the the work that's going on within the village is fantastic as well. So all of the black floor just outside of the of the house there, the bottom of the picture has all been completely uh, re 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 redone so when that's where by the end of march isn't it that's all going to be done so yeah once we we're done sort of late middle of the year it's going to be fabulous just outside yeah. all of that area that square area the house has been redone and then there's a new children's play area there there's there's football ground and yeah. that's the thing with the investment that goes into these small towns they do sorry i'll come back to this one they do uh, they do get a lot of uh investment down there these these places you know the the money is coming in and, and people i mean even to the point that we we've we've now connected you up to fiber optics i mean there's some bigger towns that hasn't got fiber optics but for a small village you, you've got fiber yeah. optics as well haven't you yeah yeah this yeah it's incredible it, didn't it? yeah it's yeah. gone in there now yeah it's yeah. incredible yeah. uh yeah, yeah. Uh, you do, well, the fact that i mean the fact year, that it, the fact that it is a a, a small village i mean the, the, the population is only a few hundred people i think isn't it four or five hundred people maybe something like that but what i always say to people when the, the, again the areas that i like to work in it's fine having a small village and and as long as sort of there's nothing else for half an hour you know whereas there every five or ten minutes there's another town and village isn't it and that that's the that's the great thing you know so so yeah. so yes your particular village i know you're going to tell us a little bit about the people there and that's why i love living where i do and why people love living in places like vitorito is you get to know the villagers don't you you guys more than yeah. anybody i think that i've ever but we'll talk about that <laughs> we'll talk about that soon um so let's just have a look at some of the other the, the other photographs but as you said you know open mind again about a village people will say yeah but I, I need a village with this i need a village with i want to be able to walk out and go to every restaurant it's a, most of the time like when you're here 
you're traveling around as well, aren't you? And enjoying the place. It's not just about it's not just about yeah. being in that one yeah. village. So obviously this is a photograph with friends of yours. What what did they think to the area when they came? Oh, they loved oh, it. They loved they're, it. They're falling in love yeah. with the whole area. That was actually taken in Palena, just up the road. Yeah. So yeah. we went up there, had coffee, didn't yeah. on the way up to Rock. Uh, where did we go? Pesco Costanza. Yeah. So Pesco we went up there for lunch. So we just decided to stop in Palena for a cup of coffee on the way up the mountain. Yeah, and Pesco Costanza is, is super. <coughs> absolutely beautiful place, isn't it? And that's how long does that take from your place? What twenty minutes? Twenty five yeah. minutes, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it's uh, absolutely super. Uh, no, yeah. 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 Yeah, and then we had the immense pleasure, and I, and I genuinely mean that, of meeting this guy, who is, uh, this is Tracy's <laughs> Uncle Dennis. What an absolute legend this guy is. He should be, he should be, uh, he, should be <laughs> he really is. He should be the advert for a brood cell for me. He's, he's absolute, what a guy this is. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, how old is he, Tracy? He'll be 95 in April. Yeah, 95. So, in fact, I was with him today at hospital appointment and he's, you know, well, you know what he's like. He's quite funny. He does what he wants. And I said, if you don't behave, behave yourself, you're not coming back to Italy. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll behave myself because he thinks he's coming out there next month, which yeah, we've promised we, we him. Are so taking him out, he it? will be with us next month. Yeah. What a start. And this was, this was at the restaurant uh, uh, down by the lake of Carsley, which, which you're close to Carsley as well, aren't you? Um, but, I mean, 95 is so fit as well, isn't it? And he just seemed to, the thing that I was amazed at when we came out to talk to you about the restorations that we want to do it, it just wandered off and was just talking to anybody and everybody wasn't it? nobody could understand the word he was saying he couldn't understand what it, it just slotted in didn't it it was absolutely absolutely yeah. unbelievable and then you took this you took this great photograph of him sat on a terrace in uh Farah san martino was this the bnb that you stayed at yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, that was um, we had been really, really busy and said to Uncle Dan, you know, we'd had lunch, should we just go back and have a you know, a little half an hour? Sleep. I'm not sleeping until tonight, <laughs> and we were so tired because we'd done quite a we I think it, yeah. it was when we were completing and everything, we were so exhausted. We said we're gonna have to have a little sleep, and um, and so then when we woke up. This was what he was doing. He, he wouldn't he sleep. Takes his soft, he took his soft, his self outside. He did, yeah. He wanted to sit and watch that view, so that's what he yeah. did. <laughs> no, amazing. What? Him. What yeah. a character. Uh, what an absolute... Uh, and it really was. I genuinely admit what a pleasure it was to meet him. I can't wait. In fact, I don't know. I think I did tell you when we went out for lunch that he actually... I mean, 95-year-old. And 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 he, the, even my wife fell for him. She was in the back of the car as we were leaving your place when we were talking about... And he just held her hand and called her darling or, or sweet or whatever it was. And I'm sat in the front thinking, there's this guy outside chatting my wife up. You know, thankfully he was 95. <laughs> But I think it would have still. It, I think it would stand a chance with anybody. Such a charmer. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, yeah. yeah, well, great. <laughs> so, so speaking about uh, settling in, then I mean, you guys, you've been out a couple of times already. Um, we had lunch with you, which was fantastic. Thank you very much, and 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 a, a very good laugh. We'll not go into details of what we're laughing about because it's a little bit too. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> obviously the experiences that you guys have had with the locals. Tell us about that because people. Before you say this, I like you know I like to talk, so I just want to get this in first. Lots of people always say about want to be in a big town, want the hustle and bustle. We want this. I find that things like that so impersonal. I think you know if you go to Firenze and you, you, or Rome or wherever any of the, the tourist places, you sort of. The great, the fantastic to see. You shove, you shoved along from place to place while people take money uh, off you, and then sort of at the end, you sort of spewed out at the end, and you think, "Well, I really enjoyed that." You're a little bit tired. You've spent an awful lot of money, and I, I do that when we go on holiday. But for places I want to live and the places I like to put people is places where you get the real, the real Italy and the real what it's like living here. So, how have the locals been uh, been treating you? Well, where do we start? Yeah. <laughs> New Year's Eve, we had our friends came over for the weekend, the picture that you saw, and we were thinking, oh, what can we do Christmas, New Year's Eve? I think Mark may have messaged you, is there anything going on? And we, 
hold on. <laughs> and we, you know, said, well, just have a quiet one. You know, we'll go for a lovely supper. We'll go back, have some champagne, see the new year in. So there's a tiny bar down by, um, down, by the river. down by the river. We said, why don't we just stop off there, have a little have one, a drink. then go back. Have, and, and in fact, we decided to buy lots of food and, and even eat it. So, right. yeah. And the minute we walked through the bar door, our neighbour was there, who's really lovely, Justine, isn't it? And um, he said, come through, come through. And that was it. We were rushed through quickly into this big dome that they've got outside. And um, the, the lights were bright. It's not like dim and put it into party mode. It's just like mm. it was bright lights. Music was on. Prosecco, Prosecco everywhere. Prosecco everywhere. everywhere. And I like a party, but I, I must have looked quite shocked at the beginning because I was like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. We've just got to start dancing. And that was it. That, that was it. And we danced and All danced night. and drunk they, and danced. Yeah. And we were then going to go home, but they said, they would have no, let us you must stay for um, Stay for dinner. food. And so, so we went off to this other, um, like a... Like around the corner place. And yeah. they did us like a two, two three-course three course meal, meal, brought more Prosecco. Dancing. Danced all night. Oh, yeah. seen, then they had fireworks in the village. We all went out to see the fireworks. And uh, oh, you, you don't did, get uh, an experience like this, did you? Anywhere in, in, in no, you know... No. Our friends... No. no. And our friends went home and said, what the, the best night, best night. In yeah. fact, now... They want to, they want to they buy, want to buy a property over um, Not <laughs> the same, Mary, because they said, we should be near the sea so that we can swap. It's perfect. Yeah. We ate we <laughs> ate all night, we drank all night, yeah. we had fabulous people that we talked to. Yeah. They really tried to talk English mm. and we, we really tried to... They were really, mm. really fabulous. We didn't spend a penny on New Year's Eve, not one I, penny. Yeah. And, I mean, so to give credit to give credit to you guys as well, you know, and I, and I know you won't mind me saying, but you, you know, you, the, the the language it's only now you're starting to, to 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 study the language a little bit, is it? So so you had a full night, and not just one night. I mean, this seems to be the amount of WhatsApp messages yeah, yeah. you're sending me with different photographs of people dancing with wine on the wine glasses on their head and all the rest of it. You know, this is, you, know. but you. You go into these places. You don't speak their language. They don't speak your language, and you just get into it. Don't you? But but that's that's yeah. credit to them, I think. Credit to the kind of people that, that live oh. in. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I've never I've never met such friends. They're, they're fa fantastic people. Yeah. If you say I don't speak Italian, that you know I, I don't comprehend what you say, they won't stop. They will bring you in even more, welcome you, make you feel even more comfortable. Just really, we've yeah. we've, we've got a fabulous little village. I think village, they've actually learned people. a few words. They well. have, yeah. We've taught them some English you know, as well. So they do say things for us. We don't want to do that, but yeah. they wanted to learn. So, yeah. But we've had some fabulous nights. It's yeah. a little bar. It's absolutely great. Really, really nice people. Yeah. And in really fact, good. we took our daughter out as well for a weekend after. And, and it, um, it just happened again. We said, oh, we'll take you down to the bar. You can meet the locals. And she wanted to go down there again. And this is like a 23-year-old who loves London. You know, she loved it. She loved it, yeah. Loved it. Very, yeah. very good. Very good. But, I mean, we don't yeah. see things like this. And this is what, this again, being the open-minded thing. Yeah, I understand all the, I understand people having this, this, preconception if you like of how they want their life to be in italy and we all watch these programs where you sat around little little squares and every, you know you're sipping on wine with your partner and all the rest and you, you can see it. it's in every film that we're that all of us will sit and watch it's in every relocation problem that pr uh, program that we all sit there but it's not like that is it and, and it's so there's so much more to it and it's so much better than than, than all of that you know that, that's almost yeah. like a a disneyland almost like a it's it is just like a fake tourist thing, isn't it? But the the reality yeah. is a hundred times better than than than, than what our thoughts are. I mean, yeah, I, really, I, really. I mean, I don't know. I know when no. we used to leave leave our home before. You know, we used to we used to really miss not just the house, but you miss the local. You miss seeing so and so next yeah. door, don't you? In the back, is that is that how you feel as well? Yeah, I really. I can't wait to. Well, hopefully, yeah, February. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't wait. we've got homesickness in reverse now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, so uh, I was going to just say, out on the square in front of the house, um, all the old guys every morning about 11 they all congregate, have a meet there, yeah, yeah, and it's just so lovely to see them. 
And um, they will call the, me over yeah. every time they see me. They will call so me over to Mark should go and play billiards with them. Yeah, I'm invited to play billiards I'm now. Into billiards. We've been invited to go e biking yeah. and skiing and Slide. do different things yeah. up the mountain, walking, rambling mm -hmm. uh, with different people. Yeah, really fabulous. Yeah. Really, really. And Tracy, yeah. just to just to ask you because I know some people will think this, and, and lots of people have, have asked me this kind of thing as well. Obviously, in it in, in most towns and villages outside of the tourist traps wherever you go it's always guys in the bar it's always guys hanging around the corner street corners you know i'm talking sort of old guys and and, and all the rest of it and you know people sometimes ask me you know what, what why is that i don't know if people think that we still live in the 1930s or for a lot of the time here is the ladies just want the men out the house uh maybe they're doing other things and that can do you feel so i'm asking you tracy do you feel that it's harder as a woman to integrate into communities like that when there are sort of men hanging around and men in the bars and, and all that type of thing i certainly haven't felt like that <laughs> was, actually saying that i have noticed i do tend to be the only one in the bar but i'm refusing <laughs> i'm going no i'm joking the, no the, i don't think so the, the, uh, italians are very animated when they speak and you could almost think that they're falling out with each other which could give you the impression that it was a very masculine environment yeah you could step, but when you no. step in they were so they were gentlemen yeah. Yeah. great people and then then there, there was women there were a lot of women come to the yeah, bar then after that yeah yeah, that. yeah yeah but and a lot of the time yeah. obviously when people start eating together and that kind of thing that's when families get together isn't it and and, and, and all that sort yeah. of stuff so and, and and it's the same again your experiences with 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 younger sort of i don't know teenagers in, the, in certainly coming from the uk sometimes you see a group of teenagers you think oh my god maybe i should move or, or a group in their early 20s that may be drinking you suddenly in, in lots of lots of countries you you tend to get out of the way how do you find that kind of thing when you when you meet younger people here is, is it different would you say I think that do you, I don't think it's different. No, they're all with us. Uh, I think they are the young, really respectful. The, but they were with us though when we were eating, weren't they? Everybody, oh, all yeah. age groups were there. The the, the old yeah. guys, the old boys were dancing with the the, the wine yeah. on their head, uh, dancing around, and and we had to people serving food. Yeah. Food I didn't but even the, know what I was eating. We don't even yeah. know who we were eating with. We couldn't even. We didn't even get their names. But there was there was the youngsters. Our daughter was dancing, wasn't yeah, she, with with the, with the youngsters, yeah. and then we had the sort of the families at the table. Then we had the, the, the young, young children. Ooh. I just think they're all so respectful. Or, they all say hello to you. Yeah. When you it's a community you. thing. Yeah. It's like you. There was a yeah. family there. The community. It was yeah. great. Really good. Brilliant. Really good. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for sharing experiences. I really, really appreciate that. I can't wait to see you both again, and we'll. Uh, We'll have a rerun of, uh, of of that that lunch. We'll uh, we'll have to see if we can extend it a bit longer. I think we only did about five hours, didn't we? That lunch. We need to try and stretch it to seven or eight. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. They didn't. I've never been to lunch and come out in the dark, but it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. There's a, there's a good few people that saying thank you as well on the chat and that sort of thing. So thanks for sharing everything. Really appreciate it and uh, i'll let you guys go now and i'll finish up here and i'll see you uh, we'll see you really soon thanks a lot we'll see you yeah. see you really soon bye. Bye, bye. bye okay guys so that was the end of that one we've come up to our, uh, our hour i don't want to keep you uh, waiting any longer i hope you enjoyed that uh they are a, an absolutely they really are a great couple and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure um uh, helping them through with the, with the buying process and then obviously they're getting onto restorations as well and uh, hopefully they'll come back and uh, let everybody know how all that side uh, went as well i'm sure i'm sure they will so thank you so much for joining in i uh, hope you enjoyed that one remember if you did if you if you joined in late and you want to see the rest of it it will be left on youtube you have to go under the under the live section thank you so much and hopefully you'll join me next thursday when we have uh david from currencies direct that's going to come in and he's going to tell us all about um, how you can save thousands of uh, pounds, euros, dollars, whatever it is, uh, by using a, a currency exchange company. And he's going to be giving you some techniques that will make sure that you really, really get the most out of your uh, um, when you're changing your money over, basically. So make sure um, you, you, you join us for that one. That's next Thursday at the same time at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you so much, and thank you for all your support. If you're looking to come out and view properties, please get in touch, info at homeinitaly.com, and it'll be an absolute pleasure 
to uh, to meet you really soon out here in Italy. And if you're buying in other areas outside of Abruzzo, remember, we do have services to help all over Italy. So uh, we're here to help. Info out to homeinitaly.com. Let us know what we can do for you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next Thursday.